beautiful sunny day in Florida. Good day for an outdoor concert. I'm on the list, but which one am I? It's the palace for the night, the comfort inn. AKA, let's stay in Tampa and drink all night. And maybe see a rock and roll show. The view up ahead. So there's our luxurious accommodations across the street from the fairgrounds. Tonight's show is the Freaks on Parade. Rob Zombie, Mudvayne, Static X, Power Man 5000. It's pretty much all bands that we've seen on festival shows before, but we've never seen, at least, I've never seen Rob Zombie play a headlining show. I've seen White Zombie back in the 90s, but never Rob Zombie. The bootleg shirt guy just walked by and asked us to buy shirts. Seemingly appeared out of nowhere over here like a non-player character in a quest. We got close enough to him and then the computer rendered him. We were in close proximity, then he just disappeared. The doors for the event open up in 25 minutes, but we figured, who could possibly be going to the wing house before the show? Oh goodness, we had a party foul. Let me clarify by saying, I don't have a party foul. People sitting on the table with questionless had a party foul. And the waitress had a party foul before that and dropped an entire basket of wings and fries on that guy's lap. Feast time has started, but there's no drinks yet, so I can't dare that yet. Potato skins, onion rings, Thai chili. This is hot honey. Wings done. More wings than I've ever seen in a bowl in my life, the boneless wing. And that was a regular size. Now we're playing Frogger. We made it across one section. Which way do we go? Closed, enter entrance. That's confusing. The thing about this amphitheater is like the freaking Lord of the Rings to be able to get to the entrance way. One epic journey later, we're up to the security. No proof of vaccination or anything like that needed for this venue any longer. That dog is going to Rob Zombie. There's shirts outside and inside. Uh oh, the shirts are $45, I think. Chief Seas Nation is going to be complaining about the price on t-shirts. I like the white one. Here's what we're looking at, Static X. Rob Zombie. Freaks on Parade. I like that. That's the tour. Mudvayne. Here we go, Rob Zombie tonight and Canto next up. Here's a look at the merch inside. This is what it's looking like in here. We were just here recently for Ario Speedwagon and Sticks. So you had a bunch of bars, if you haven't seen that video. Bars, 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 more bars, <laughs> and some more bars. There's a burger place over there, Volt, that took the place of Guy Fieri's burgers, tacos, frozen bar, the coop, packed bowls, cheesesteaks and pizza, hot dogs. Pretty empty so far. We have 45 minutes before the first day. So we're back in the VIP lounge. We bought tickets on StubHub yesterday. Not only VIP seats, but they come with $25 gift cards for food and beverage. So considering the $25, tickets ran up to be $45 a piece. Oh, look at this. You can get Boom Boom Chicken Tenders for 15 bucks with coleslaw. Set ties for the bands. This is what it's looking like in here. It's pretty dead. Some box seats get you in here. Some don't. But you can literally buy a VIP upgrade for your ticket that includes no beverages or anything. It just includes access to this lounge for a hundred bucks. And so I should say the VIP tickets that we got, I believe, were part of somebody's season tickets. So you can buy those box seats literally for every show that the amphitheater will host for the year. And it is pouring out there now for everybody that's waiting for their lawn seats. Nice and dry in here. Nice couches, umbrella tables. You can order the merchandise from your VIP table and pick it up at the front. Popcorn. Hush puppies. Cheers, Tampa. We got stopped by a few folks on the way in. I watched the channel. Thank you so much. All right. Exiting the VIP lounge, heading to our seats. Pretty psyched. And these are the seats that we're in here today. VIP box and our view. We have server service. I know that 
redundant. But uh, anything you want, raise your hand and they will bring it to you. There is a very small general admission pit area up there and the tickets were super expensive for that area. And here we go. Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Everybody! That's because you're, the PA is in front of you, so anybody up here is having a hard time hearing me. Thank you, though. I'll make a note of that. I'll let them know. I appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. I want you to hear me. They're complaining. Now this is what it's like. What? Next, Static X, obviously without Wayne Static, passed away a while back. Edsel Dope now fronting the band. And the band Dope, go figure. I used to really like the band Dope, but what did you think about Power Man 5000? They were really great. How many songs did you know? Two. Two or two and a half? <laughs> I thought they were awesome. I love all of their stuff. And I think the crowd that's in the general admission area, if you're watching this after you've gone to the show, so lame. No jumping, nothing. Come on, dude, it's Power Man 5000. And there we are. Tampa, Florida. Let's do it.
fucking delicious. We are Mudvan, and we are back from the motherfucking dead. zombie mic on the stage. There's a lot of movement happening. I cannot wait to see John 5 again. The stage starting to take shape. Weird that Mudvayne had a kabuki curtain and nothing for Rob Zombie. Two minutes to Wapner.
this trailer again. Now the exit out. Back to the Lord of the Rings journey to get back to the hotel. And so, packed house for a Tuesday night. Rob Zombie had a little snippet there towards the end and said, when they put the tour together, promoters told him, this lineup sucks, no one's gonna come to see it. And he's selling out. So, there's something to be said, it was packed here tonight. I had originally bought like the $25 tickets again, like we did for Aria Speedwagon um, back when they had the sale. I checked yesterday to see if there's anything cheap up close where I would be able to ditch my tickets for face value and then, or what I paid and be able to pick up something else. The tickets that we sat in tonight with that VIP box, I mean, they were really kind of cheap considering what you got for them. And there were seats around us from, I guess, other season ticket holders that didn't show up also. And I know I'm probably blowing myself up here, but I would definitely look for them again in the future. Well, back in the hotel room, that was a really awesome show, awesome lineup, and just the right amount of songs, I think, from every artist. So it was really well-timed from six o'clock to 11 o'clock. Perfect, now I can go to sleep. Tomorrow is training camp with the Buccaneers, but for now, saying goodnight. Thanks all for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. See you guys.